يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا Welcome to each and every one of you today number 19 And today بإذن الله تعالى we will be looking at زكاة الفتر زكاة الفتر is a charity يعني a صدقة that is واجب at the end of the month of Ramadan The word زكاة is connected by idafa to fitr because the occasion of breaking the fast is the reason why the zakah becomes obligatory and the breaking of the fast means the end of the month of Ramadan why should we pay zakah to fitr why has it become compulsory the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said that zakah to fitr is wajib because it is a purifying or purification for the fasting person from idle talk, from foul language and it is to feed the poor whoever pays it before the prayer it is an accepted zakat al-fitr and whomsoever pays it after the prayer then this is a form of sadaqah so zakat al-fitr it is a purification because sometimes in Ramadan for example, I utter things that I'm not supposed to say. I curse someone, I'm not supposed to do this. So this purifies my fast. Walhamdulillah. What is the ruling on zakat al-fitr? The correct view that zakat al-fitr, it is wajib, it is fard, it is obligatory. When must it be given? Zakat al-fitr needs to be given to the recipient basically the night before Eid or two or three days before the day of Eid when does it end? it ends before the Imam or once the Imam steps on the member if you can just bear with me I would like to elaborate on something if you choose an organization to distribute your zakat al-fitr then it's fine to give your money to them any time during the month of Ramadan and obviously you as a person should make sure that they are going to distribute my zakat al-fitr towards the end of Ramadan meaning the day before Eid or two days before Eid and if they are not going to do that and they are going to give my zakat al-fitr for example on the 10th of Ramadan then it is best for you not to give your money but rather to Pay the recipient of zakat al-fitr yourself and Allah knows best. Who is obliged to pay zakat al-fitr? Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with both of them, said, The Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made zakat al-fitr one sa'ah of dates or one sa'ah of bali obligatory on the Muslims, slave or free, male and female, young and old so anyone that is Muslim whether they male whether they female whether it's a child whether it's an old person they will have to pay zakatul fitr what is also important what should I give as my zakatul fitr I should give one sa'a of the people's meals or the people's food that the community eats so for example in Cape Town South Africa generally people they eat rice and certain communities they will eat maize meal so if you know what community you will be giving then you will either give maize meal or you would give rice a question that always comes up should zakat al-fitr be given on behalf of a fetus which is still in the mother's womb and it is not wajib, it is not obligatory but if it is done voluntary then there is nothing wrong with this and Allah knows best what is the amount of zakat al-fitr? 
We spoke about one sa'a. And the ulama, they explained that one sa'a is basically four handful or four hand scoops of, for example, the rice or the dates or the maize meal, etc. So you will take your hand, scoop it, and you will put four of these in a separate bowl to see. So the ulama, when they weighed this, some of them came to about 2.1 kilos, some of them came to about 2.5 kilos, etc. And many of the scholars, they rounded this off to 3 kilograms. So you buy 3 kilograms of rice, 3 kilograms of maize meal, etc. And you would give it to the recipient and Allah knows best. What can we give? As I mentioned earlier, you can give anything that your community eats and takes as a staple food and Allah knows best. Can I give money? So I take a 30 rand or I take a 60 rand and I give it to the recipient of Zakatul Fitr and according to many of our ulama and our scholars and Allah knows best, is that zakat al-fitr, it must be given in the form of food. As for zakat al-mal, zakat of your money, then this is given in money. And what is the conclusion or how did they come to this? They explained that in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was people that were much poorer than what we have in our times today. Secondly, there was money available. Right? They dealt with money as well. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he still made sure that zakat al-fitr was given in the form of food and based on this, we as well, we give our zakat al-fitr in the form of food and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Can I choose someone to act on my behalf and give my zakat to fitr to a poor person, like a representative? Yes, I can. I live in a particular country. Can I send my zakat to fitr to another country because there's a greater need? Yes, you can. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Who should zakat to fitr be given to? They should be given to any of the eight categories of whom zakatul mal should be given and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide and protect us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu wa la ilaha illa. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.